Good morning everyone, it is Monday, I look so tired and a bit red today. Yesterday I did a chemical exfoliation so I need to let my skin breathe for a day which is why it's a little bit red um, but that's normal, it is normal to have some redness after it. I'm just getting ready to go to the hospital, I have my usual GI checkup which I've been having every four weeks recently. Hopefully they're going to reduce my steroids down but I'll let you know how that goes afterwards. I also need to sneak to the shops afterwards because I need to get some last minute stuff for Eric's birthday which is going to be on Wednesday by the way. So I need to get a little card and a box to put his gift in and I can talk about this in the vlog because this vlog won't be up until next week so that's going to be well after his birthday. I also had this delivered today. This is my new beauty case for when I um, I'm eventually properly freelance as a makeup artist and beautician. Let me show you what it looks like up close. So this is it up close. Excuse how messy my floor is. But you can kind of open this top bit. And that opens completely out. I do have a few stuff in this already but not, not an awful lot. Um, I'm still stocking up. So this is where the main bulk of stuff is going to go. This whole top bit lifts off um, at the side here. So let's just open that. And that lifts off, so if you only need to take one box, you can take it. And then down here, we've got some foundations, some lashes, some other stuff. And this top bit um, comes off as well. I'm going to have to put you down a second while I do that. So yeah, this bit lifts out as well. And then down here, you've got a lot of storage for other stuff. And then I've got some makeup brushes on a belt. So yeah, I'm pretty much sorted. And then I'm just super excited to get going. I can't wait. This box has four wheels on the bottom, so it wheels around like in circles. It has a handle so I can tip it and pull it. So yeah, it's really cool. Hi everyone. God, I look so tired. I've just finished in the hospital. I've been here for a very long time because there was a bit of a mess up with my appointment. Basically, they said I didn't have an appointment when I did and they just had to squeeze me in and it was just a little bit awkward. <laughs> Anyway, I have been told that I get to come off my steroids in two weeks, which is super exciting. I've been on steroids, ooh, wrong gear. I've been on steroids for such a long time, it's made me gain a lot of weight, it's given me stretch marks. It's just generally made me feel quite sluggish and tired, so I'm so excited to come off them. I'll be continuing with azathioprine as a medication to keep me in remission, hopefully, since I've been doing so well and I haven't really had any symptoms for quite a few weeks now. And yeah, if I have any issues, I just need to email them or ring them. Um, if I get ill again, I need to get in touch because I'll have to go on steroids again and it means I need to try a different kind of medication. But overall, so far so good. And I have my next appointment in the hospital in eight weeks, which is good. It's been like four weeks for a while now, so happy with that. I slept terribly last night which is why I look so exhausted and why I keep rubbing my eyes my eyes are a little bit sore and they feel a bit gritty it's very irritating but I'm currently going through my business plan and working out the next stuff I want to stock for my business so because I'm doing um, I'm gonna offer tanning like spray tanning and manual tan nails like gel nails and manicures, pedicures, um, with gel polishes. Um, I want to offer facials with massage and obviously I'm going to be offering makeup services like for weddings. I can only stock certain things to start with and then once money starts coming in when I officially go as a sole trader and when I'm actually bringing money in I want to then put money like straight back into the business for the first few months to start with. So any money I do make to begin with is going to go straight on to more resources to be able to expand on what I can offer. So I don't think I'm going to start with nails. I think I might start with tanning and makeup. And then 
when I get a bit more money, start stocking the facial stuff and then offer facials. And then when I get more money coming in, get the nails. Because looking at all the prices I've got, like I've got everything wrote down with all the brands that I want to use. Um, the most expensive thing, other than the makeup, which is why I got the makeup first, because that's the main thing I want to offer. Uh, the most expensive thing after that is going to be nails because gel nail polishes individually are really expensive and the gel lamp, the UV lamp, is really expensive to get as well. I think it's about 200, 300 quid for a good one and I do have a little mini kit at home that I use on myself but it's not that great professionally. It's not that great at curing the gel nail polish at a very like fast rate and I just wouldn't be happy using that professionally. So I'm currently just deciding <laughs> important things i said last week that i was getting the insurance and i was fully planning on getting it then there and then but it turns out i need to send in a copy of my qualification obviously to prove that i am qualified so i still need to wait for that to be delivered to my house before i can get my insurance i'm currently writing a review of these items so if you want to know what i think of all of the green people things that I've been sent here. I've been sent some suntan lotion and after sun, shower gel, conditioner and shampoo and mascara. Then head on over to my blog. I will leave it linked down below. everyone so today is Eric's birthday he is 27 years old today I'm aware I look like an actual potato right now with extra potatoes growing out my face which is why I've got the drying lotion on but never mind I wanted to show you some stuff anyway because today is a little bit exciting aside from Eric's birthday let's just forget it's his birthday for a few hours while he's at work and resume that tonight when he gets home <laughs> I've had a delivery for my business the first thing is some business cards that I'm just about to show you give me a second I have 250 business cards here and this is what they look like oh, I'm so excited I love them so much and then on the other side it's got my information it's got my name and my email and my website focus so I can start handing these out to people to advertise, maybe give them uh, some hairdressers so that they can hand them to people. I'm just really happy. I also have this shirt, which I decided to get. Oh no, the lighting's not gonna work very well, is it? So basically, a lot of people wear it just black, but I decided to brand my shirts that I'm gonna be wearing. And it has this cute little logo. The rose kind of fits in with my um, logo that Eric made. And I just really like it. I'm going to be wearing this all the time. Please excuse my squeaky floorboards. They're terrible. <laughs> the next stuff I got delivered is this dress from Shein. Which, if it fits well, it looks beautiful. But if it fits well, that's going to be a dress I wear for a wedding in October. And then these beautiful shoes i am obsessed with these these look incredible they don't look the best quality but you know what i kind of love them so i might wear them together for the wedding the wedding's at the end of october so it's actually going to be quite cold so i think that's a good oh someone was beeping outside like we had fire alarm i don't know what that was never mind but yeah i think that as a combo for an end of October wedding will look so good. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it looks good on me, on my body. Um, so yeah, I'll try them on later on when I'm a bit more dolled up. So I'm just trying on the dress for the wedding and I kind of love it. Granted, it is from Shein, so it's not the best quality. Like, there's this bit here that flops up because there's a bit of embroidery there that doesn't bend down. So if I take it to a seamstress, she can probably fix them. It needs to be taken up a little bit at the bottom because it's quite long on me i am only five foot one so everything is usually quite long on me but i really love it it's so pretty i won't have a bra on well i won't have a bra with straps on the day when i wear it but it has like the black slip underneath a waist belt that kind of cinches you in quite nicely it could probably do with being a little bit tighter 
but I haven't been able to zip it up properly at the back because I can't reach the very top. <laughs> so it probably looks a bit tighter when it's all zipped up properly. And it goes all the way down. The actual underneath bit stops around here. It's a really good length. It's like right in the middle of my thighs. So it's not too short, not too long. And then as you can see, the bottom is really long and I have humongous heels on. That just shows how short I am. So if I get this taken up a little bit, just so I'm not like stepping on it, maybe to like, to like there. So my toes poke out a little bit. And yeah, it's so cute. I really like it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, I need to do my hair for tonight now. It's just clipped up at the minute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Happy birthday. I need to buy some like files and stuff which is where I can store like receipts and invoices and stuff like that um so yeah I need to do that insurance and it's sort out I'm not sure if I like this lipstick or not. I felt like I spoke really funny there because I was looking at how white my teeth are as well. <laughs> Today I'm sneakily going to go shopping and get some party stuff for Eric. We're having a celebration with friends at the weekend so I need to get a cake and candles, decorations, paper plates and party hats and some other cool stuff as well as some F-O-O-D. I can't say that word because the dogs are here and they'll think that they're due to eat. Um, <laughs> it's really annoying having smart dogs that can understand some of the words that you say. So I can film this because this video will go live after all of Eric's birthday celebrations. So yeah, I'm going to film as much as I can and then I'm going to go and drop it off somewhere with a friend so that he can't see it and so it's at their house because they are hosting the celebration. So it's going to be at their house ready and he has no idea what I'm going to have bought. And then I think for the rest of the evening we're just chilling. Hi everyone, it's Friday. Eric's off work. It's his last holiday that he's booked for the summer. Last Friday off. Mm, sad. He's looking at your normal weekends so off. Five weeks off. I know it's flown by. Uh, We've been into town because a dress that I showed you earlier in the week, I think I did anyway. But I took my dress that I am wearing for a wedding in October to be taken up because it was far too long. And it was an absolute bargain, it was only eight quid, so I'm well impressed with that. And then we had a little Greg's and now we need to go to Asda because we need to get something for tea. And for the rest of the day we're mostly chilling, but also we need to nip to the skip because we've got some stuff stuff to throw out that's too big for the too big for the green bin. You gonna go to step out of the still? Yes, Eric wants to play WoW, World of Warcraft, if you don't know what that is. So we're you gonna play a little bit of that. I'd rather play Sea of Thieves, but... Sea of Thieves after, but you gotta do it, because literally the thing starts on Monday, on Monday night. So get it done. You've got like three days to do it. Yeah, I'll play some WoW tonight, but not much. And I'm making my homemade lasagna, and it's one of my favorite meals ever, and I'm so excited, because I never get to make it, because it takes so long to make from home, from being homemade, like from scratch. So I'm really happy that I finally get to have it. It's one of my favorite meals in the whole world. What's that cow doing? I just had its head poking out. Oh. <laughs> it's such a beautiful, chill day. If you're wondering, that stuff is inside like reeds and the dogs are like chewing it and rolling in it. <laughs> Spit it out. Come here. Come here. Yeah.
Oh, it's somebody that fucking do. No, there's no. No. Time. Look! Oh, they look cool. They're bigger than I thought they were. Did you? Oh my god. Look at I slouched like that. <laughs>